Morning guys, I'm about to work out. Today is just good old fashioned weightlifting, picking up heavy stuff and putting it back down and picking it back up again. But before I pick up some weights, I gotta pick up my cup. And I gotta do a zip fish shake. And today we are having, bam! Is this pink lemonade again? Hey, I'm not mad at it. I, I will never be disappointed to see a pink lemonade. Mm-hmm, mm. Now we talked about it a couple days ago on my live, but let me know in the comments down below. Are you team remove the safety seal before you pour the zip fizz? Or are you just team crack and dump? You know what I'm saying? Just crack it open and dump it into your shaker bottle. You know, I go either way. If I'm in a big hurry, I'll just pour it right in there. But if I have some time, I will peel away the safety seal because sometimes there's a little lip that the safety seal creates. And I found that when I pour my zip fizz, some of that zip fizz falls into that little lip. And I was like, I don't got no time to be wasting any parts of zip fizz and for every part to not get in this cup. So it just depends. Comment down below. Are you team pull and peel or team crack and dump? Oh, whoa. Okay guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. All right guys, to reaching your goals, to staying positive, to believing in yourself and betting on yourself and making yourself proud. Woo, woo, right here. Right here, yep. Mm. If you had my love and I gave you all my trust, would you come to find me? If I'm a little running through the running way, I see you on the corner, but you don't want to say. Oh, you know somebody named you, you know his name. Oh, yeah, definitely. I know his name. does like other people's dogs like to eat food off the floor too like you can put the food in the bowl all you want but like they'll like give it the side eye but as soon as you dump it on the floor it's like free for all it's like hungry hungry hippos in here like they all enjoy eating food off the floor am i missing something okay guys i am starting off the day with this keto trail mix that i got from Costco. If you remember from my meal prep video, I told you that I separated it into individual portions just because it was easier than having to open the bag each time and, and be confronted with all that trail mixy goodness that I couldn't have. So this is three servings, which comes out to about 500 calories. It's pretty significant, but like I made room for it in my macros, so I'm fine with it. Okay guys, so hear me out. This is what I do. I dump all of the trail mix into a little container and then I systematically pick out the pieces that I want to save for last. Even when I buy things that come all mixed together, I still eat them one component by one component. Like imagine M&Ms, right? I'm the type of person, I dump out the whole bag, I separate the colors, and then I eat them in the order of Roy G. Biff. Like that's... That's just me, you guys. So what I do is I like to eat the pumpkin seeds first because they're really small. So I kind of like to have them all grouped together. So I'll pick out the almonds and the pecans and the little cheese crisps until I have a container full of pumpkin seeds. Then I'll just down those. And then from there, I will then move to the almonds and then I will eat all the pecans and then I'll finish it up with the cheese puffs. Like, so me, like comment down below, do you eat things all mixed together or do you eat them in order? Okay, there's some little remnants, but for the most part, see, pumpkin seeds, everything else. So I'm gonna eat these and then I'm going to systematically eat these and you're not gonna say anything about it, okay? Now really Ash, do you call Autumn out when she needs it and observe it or will it cause disagreements? Which the answer to that is yes. But at the end of the day, like, this is the best thing that's ever oh happened gosh. to me. So I'm not going to get mad about the little stuff, you know? So, but yes, he does call me out. And I'm just be like, dang, that really pokes holes in my argument when you say that. But like, I guess that's true. Uh, so, but yes. it rarely happens. She's right yes. for like 92%. Okay guys, today I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail about how exactly I make my Bulletproof coffee, starting with my thermos. The first thing I do is take my one tablespoon of butter and cut it and put it into my thermos. I have my thermos sitting on a scale right now because I weigh and measure everything. I just think it's the only way to go. 
So one tablespoon of butter is 14 grams. And then I do lick any excess off the butter knife. Judge me all you want to. This is delicious. Next, I pour eight ounces of chocolate almond milk into a microwave safe glass because I do heat this up in the microwave so that it can already be hot to go along with my hot coffee. Okay, I put this in the microwave for two minutes. While the chocolate almond milk is in the microwave, I also have an electric kettle, so now is the time where I put that on because it takes about two to three minutes for the water to boil anyway. Okay, so while the liquids are heating up, I prepare the rest of the ingredients for my coffee. I use 30 grams or two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I use between one and two tablespoons of this sweetener just for the flavor. But I also use this regular liquid monk fruit just for the sweetness. Now I go ahead and prepare my filter. I use the pour over method. So this is just where you have this little pour over contraption and you put your filter in there. You dump the coffee grounds in the filter and then you just pour the boiling water over it. So I have my coffee and I just pour about a tablespoon in there, put that in my filter. And now we hear the milk is done. Next step, I pour the hot milk into the cream and the butter and this starts to get the butter melting. And as that starts melting, that's when I put in my preferred keto collagen. I actually use a funnel because the top of my thermos is so narrow. I was wasting a lot of powder by missing the spout. So I use my scoop, but I also do weigh to make sure that it weighs exactly 18 grams. All right, and while we're waiting for the water to finish boiling, that's when I go ahead and do my first round of mixes with my milk frother. I got this little milk frother off Amazon for like $10. You can find the link to my Amazon store in the description of this video below or you can go to my website www.watchautumnketo.com and I have a page for all of the links and codes for all the various products that I use and this is on my Amazon link here. I absolutely love it. So I just give it a little pre-mix because if you let that collagen sit for too long in my opinion it starts to clump up so as soon as I pour it onto the hot beverage I give it a mix. All right my water has finished boiling. You can see the steam. Can you? Okay I can see the steam. I take my pour over I just pour the water over the coffee and then it drips through the bottom just like a strainer. So for me, I've done this enough times to know that I use about 220 grams of water or of coffee really. Okay, it's on the scale and now I just let all the coffee drain through. Okay, once all the water is drained through, put my filter in the sink, then I give it one final mix. And this is really just the froth up the heavy cream. And now I have some delicious Bulletproof coffee. Oh, mm, mm, oh, it's so hot and chocolatey and it's sweet. Oh my gosh. And it's creamy. Mm. So I'll leave this here for a little bit and then just come right back to it and it will be as hot and as delicious as ever. What other stuff do you put in your coffee? Comment down below. Tu bebes cafe? Why si? <laughs> si, yo bebo cafe. Delicioso. Muy caliente. Okay, you guys, look at the magic that is on my plate right now. We have that deliciously seared salmon covered in that chipotle aioli. We have my sour cream and butter cauliflower rice. And then we just got some good old steamed broccoli covered in a tablespoon of butter. Look, look, you know, I love my butter not completely melted where you can just kind of smear. Oh, smear what you want on there. Look at that piece of broccoli. Mmm, this is delicious. Okay, let me taste some of that sour cream and butter cauliflower. It is, it's just creamy and it's buttery. Probably about like the salmon's finna be right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, going in for a bite. It is salty. It is crispy from the microwave, just how I like it. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is amazing. All right, me and Richard are on season three of Burn Notice, so I'm gonna watch that. 
And I don't even want to think past that. I just want to enjoy this. I want to live in the now. I want to be right here. So I'm going to be right here with this lunch. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's recording. Yeah, it's recording. Let me check. Oh, yeah. It is, I can tell. You guys are can't even tell from the front. Ah. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. Okay, guys, words cannot describe how delicious that meal was. It was salty and it was buttery and it was so filling. Like, man, vegetables, man, every time vegetables okay so i am going to finish up the day with a dessert i'm fancy i'm having cheese for dessert only fancy people consider cheese a dessert so i am having two sargento sharp cheddar jack sticks and then i'm having this chocolate peanut butter keto bar this thing is so filling and delicious like i feel like if i was having a quest bar i would need two of them to be honest because like quest bars they just disintegrate and you get through them but like these are so dense that like i can literally get 15 16 good bites out of this and be completely satisfied so i am really excited to have my dessert and then i'll probably have some jello and sprite zero later but that's exciting so we're just burning through burn notice over here and then i'll let you know if i have something else I know what you're wondering, and yes, yes, I did lug my camera, tripod, and snacks outside just so that I could talk to you from out here. Like, this is the first time I've been outside all day. It is difficult working from home, and you literally just forget to get up and go outside. So I was like, you know what? The sun is shining, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get up and close my video from out here, because, like, it's gonna be the only time I get to be outside today, so snacks i got diet ginger ale i've been alternating between sprite zero and diet ginger ale and i'm 100 here for it i've got my jello the huge and i'm calling it a day this week's meal prep is absolutely delicious it is filling and it is just savory we watch a lot of diners drive-ins and dives and guy fieri says the word unctuous a lot i'm i think my meal is unctuous this week it is just really good whole food. I am proud of myself. I intentionally drank 20 ounces of water. Maybe I'll have some more, but maybe I'll just stop right here quick. What are you having for meal prep this week? Comment down below. Like, I just don't know how it could be better than my meal prep. It's not a competition, but still, I just want to know. Maybe it'll give me ideas for next week. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, what I eat Wednesdays, and I'm calling it Freestyle Friday. You never know what I'm gonna post. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.